turned against people. But have you paid people. your fair share yet? I'm working on it. You're working on paying your fair share, but you haven't paid it yet. I'm working very Come on. hard. Obama will be I will, will work my whole at. life to try to make it better. Your whole life. I don't trust Obama. I can't trust the government. I feel like I can't trust anybody except for my people, my family, my friends, and my Who's community. Your people? That's what I'm figuring out, you know? You don't even have people, do you? Yes, I do. You said you're trying to figure it out. It's hard, it's hard to know. It's hard to know. Everybody's trying to separate us. Do you think the banks should be foreclosing on people and throwing them out of their homes? <laughs> I don't think anybody should be thrown out of their home. Yeah. Thank you. I think we should you try have to take a, care of each other. You have Especially a heart and a soul. who have greater need. You know, we got to protect people, keep them in their homes, keep them off the streets. So what if they take their money and go out so so and spend a trip and buy a car and they got to pay it for it? And then your house is just there. So did you, so you still help them out? Ask him what percentage of the people do that. A lot. It's a all lot. the media. Oh, yeah. You, you, you have the statistics? That's Tell us. America tells you you have to no, have a you, fancy no, car to be cool. Right here. We got this paper right here that tells us what the loan amount is. A lot of these people that house is going to sell, the loan amount is so low. We had an elderly woman that uh, one of the one of the mortgage brokers took out four loans se totaling $700,000 on her house, right? And what did you think she did with the money? She didn't get the money. Oh, okay. They stole it from her. I'll give you one. 